Hello everyone, welcome to our Python from scratch series. So in the last video, we have covered modules and libraries in Python. Now in this video, we will talk about list comprehension. So list comprehension is a quick way to create a list in single line of code instead of using loops. So the expression that we follow for list comprehension is this simple expression. First is the expression that we use. It can be an expression like logical statement like x into uh, any variable or addition, subtraction or just an assignment of a variable. And then we have a for loop where we are iterating our items with our list which is iterable list and then we can add a if condition as well. We'll be able to add if else condition also that I'll show you in my in my video when I'll demo with some example. Okay, so now let's move ahead and I will show you how the uh, list comprehension is way better than using the uh, previous way of using the loops that we use in Python. Okay, so let's quickly move to the Google Collab. Okay, so now I've taken this uh, example that we were using uh, in our previous uh, videos. This is the normal way of using the for loop where we have the for condition and then we are performing our operation and then we are printing it. So basically, if we I have to add a list of numbers, basically I have to create a list of numbers. So what I have to do, I have to first create a list. And then I have to do some iteration and then I will be appending those numbers inside that list. And then I will be printing it. Okay. So this will give us. Okay. So it printed 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 that we, we have just done here. Now there is a simpler way of doing this thing by using the list comprehension. Okay. Now this is the expression that I've just shown you. So this is my first uh, expression, the variable. If there is no operation here, it will directly assign this value to this numbers list automatically one by one. Uh, uh, the time, how many times this loop will run, it will then assign this value to this number automatically. So what I'm doing here, I'm just iterating uh, this range to five and and I'm put uh, add, uh, giving this value to this variable and this variable is storing this value to the number. So let me execute it. So I have not done the print. Let me print this number. Okay. So see, it is doing the same thing. Printing 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is just a one line statement. and uh, It's just saving these two extra lines here. Okay. Now, if I have to uh, do some operation with this, so uh, for example, I've taken this, I'm doing some operation here. Basically, I'm doing the square of numbers uh, in this range. So basically, uh, it will provide me number from one to five and I'm just doing a square of one, uh, sorry, or all the numbers, like it first it will do square of one, then two, then square of three, then square of four, then square of five. And uh, after each operation, it will assign this value automatically inside this list. And if I print this, sorry. Hmm. So what it will give us, it will give us one, four, nine, 16, and 25. So I'm just, I've just created the list of square of numbers with just one line. Okay, now if I want to uh, create a list of even numbers, so I'll be using this expression. So what it, it is doing, it is basically uh, doing an additional if condition is added after this expression. So what is this doing? It's just checking, just assign value to the i only if it is if it is divisible by two completely and the remainder comes out zero. So that means it's an even number, then only assign value to this i and then it this i will be stored inside this even. So for zero, it will give return as zero. So it will be stored here and add it to the list. Then for one, it will not satisfy the condition, it will exit. Then for 
two, it will again uh, add, and for three, it will ignore, for four, it will add, six, eight, like this, it will add. So if I execute it, sorry, I have again not printed it, sorry. Okay, so if I execute it, so yeah, zero, two, four, six, eight. Now, if I have to perform some operation with the string, so for example, I've taken this word Amit, okay, and what I'm doing is I have to create a list uh, of this string, but I want to create a list with capital letters, characters list, okay, it will be a character list with capital letters. So what I'm doing is I've added a variable here, let us be, I'm uh, basically I'm not variable basically a list and I'm looping over this uh, word which is Amit and I'm taking out all the characters one by one and then I'm doing an operation first uh, at the first place is it is doing character dot upper upper is the inbuilt method of character in the python which will uh, provide us the upper case of any character okay so then once this uppercase is done, it will assign it to this letters list automatically. Okay, so this is what it returns. It will give us a, a capital, it will assign here, then again it will come M, then it will do M uppercase and then it will assign to letter, then for I it will do uppercase and then assign here. So like this it will perform the operation. Now we can also perform the nested list comprehension like the flat if I want to do a flat list. So how can I do that? So for example, I have this matrix basically a list inside list. Okay, so I have multiple lists inside a list. So I, I want to flat this list. So how can I do that? So similarly, I'm doing this uh, num for row in matrix. This is for one thing which will return me. Uh, sorry, just take it from here. Okay, this will return me a single uh, list and then for in this list I will be performing this operation again okay and then what it will do it will flatten that list and provide us the flattened list yeah so it, what is doing one two three four five and six it just flattened that list now we can use the functions as well inside our operations. So I can create a, my custom method. Look, for example, I've created some custom method. It could be any method. For example, I've taken the square method, which is just returning me the square of a number. And this is my list. Okay, uh, I've taken a list. And what I'm doing, I'm doing a square of number. So in, in the place of operation, I'm doing this. I'm using this method that I've created and I'm passing the variable value which I'm getting from this iteration. Okay, so for n in num, num is this list and I'm doing a square of it and then assigning inside a list. So similarly, I'm getting 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Now doing the list comprehension with the if else condition. Like we have tried with if condition, but we can also do the if else condition. So I've taken a nums list. And what I'm doing is I'm doing a square of that number only if it is uh, divisible by two completely. So basically, if it's a square number, it's an even number, sorry, then I'm doing the multiplication. If it's not an even number, then I'm just assigning that value directly. I'm not doing the square of it. Okay, so this is the iteration. Okay, so let me execute it. So yeah, so for one, it came, it is not an, uh, not an even number, so it, it didn't turn any square. So directly assigning one, then it came, the, uh, now it picked the two, it's a, it's an even number, so it, it done the square of it, assigned two, then came three, three is not an even number, so directly assigned three without any square, and then four, it done the, a square of it and then for 5 it's not an even number also then it assigned 5 directly so let's take a real life example for example uh, i want to take out a list of uh, ages so i want to filter out that age group who are uh, basically adult only okay 
So I have list, I have different ages like 12, 25, 30, 15, 40, but I want to filter out only the adult person. Okay, the adult. Okay, so what I have done is I have taken age for age in ages and I have added the if condition that age should be greater than or equal to 13, then only assign the value to age and to the list. Okay, so it will filter out the adult only. So why? to use the list comprehension. So the first uh, advantage is it is shorter and it makes our code cleaner. It is faster than normal group in most of the cases and it is useful for transforming or filtering data very quickly. So list comprehension replace loops in a single line. Okay, it can include condition, function, nested loop and if else condition. So it can make uh, your operations very uh, quick and it also increase the processing time of your code okay and it makes your code faster and it is super useful in data cleaning and future transformation in when you will be working with the machine learning so i hope now this uh, concept of uh, list comprehension is clear to you if you have any query just add a comment and i'll try to reply you so now see you in the next video thank you